Alright, so how we can begin cutting our mushroom. Um, chanterelles are really, really nice to work with. They're probably like one of my favorite to work with just because of the way that they kind of come apart. And look at that. Just like the inside of this is just like flawless. Um, I absolutely love that. Um, but what I mean by being easy to work with is that when you cut through this, um, like, and you, and you feel, you know, like, I feel like that's fine depending on how big you want your pieces, but let's say you want them a little bit smaller, the way that it kind of just like breaks up, it shreds apart. You know, it's just really nice. It's almost like chicken. The, or string cheese, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So. Um, but yeah, it just breaks apart really nicely. Um, and so this, this works really well um, for the type of dish that we're making today. And really, we know we don't even have to slice it. I can just kind of take this and just break it up with my hands. It's completely fine too. And I just absolutely love like just the <laughs> just the quality of these right now. Wow. That's me happy. We just started our day here um, at the it's DNR land, it's not really a park, um, it's just Department of Natural Resources land. Um, and we had just started maybe not like 10 minutes ago and we're already finding plenty of things. Um, the first um, that I wanted to point out actually is if we come down here into this brush a little bit. It's an older specimen but it's, it's definitely a chanterelle um, and you can tell by the way that it's splitting on the inside here that flesh is white while the outside is yellow. Um, it is older, so we won't, like, this probably, I mean, it's, yeah, just, we won't pick this. Um, we'll let that be, we'll let it complete its life cycle. Um, so more can pop up in this area. Hey. All right, we, yeah, just eventually, you know, you just keep walking, you keep searching. A lot of times it, um, it's just a matter of kind of just like listening. Um, not for like sound or anything, you know, you just kind of like, you just stop and just let yourself be taken to where, wherever you think they might be. Um, and we got lucky this time, so um, it's like a nice little bouquet. I absolutely love the way that these kind of come out. They look like little flowers. Um, yeah, these, yeah, these look excellent. You could tell like how how camouflaged they are, like just underneath the, the, the duff, and all around you can see like the spore drop and the mycelia, um, uh, and it's 
mycelia is like the microscopic and the um like the mycelia that you're able to see actually has a different name i think it's called like rhizomorph actually um but yeah you can see all of that like the thread like white thread around is just all the mycelia slash rhizomorph um so this is actually like a very strong chanterelle patch um, we found a couple more down that way just at the base of this tree it's very beautiful and we'll just do our darndest to, to do this as carefully as possible always making sure that we get it from the very bottom and there she is just look at that coloring absolutely beautiful and another thing that I really love about chanterelles is that you can identify a lot of them by I mean it's it is what it is right it looks so distinct from anything else but you can get like just that confirmation um, just by smelling it. Like, what does it smell like, Jordan? What do you think? Uh, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, do you get any other hints of anything? So chanterelles actually have like a, a very faint, um, look at that, it's, it's a nice find. They have a, um, a very faint smell of um, of apricot, like a, like a peachy apricot smell. Yeah. I always I always like to smell my apricot. All right, so we're gonna put these into a dry skillet. Already super hot. You can kind of hear like the waxy sound, you know. We're not too worried about these burning, but you know, we want to get as much of that excess water out. But you know, if, if you see any of that starting to char up, just to flip it. It's a simple flip. Feel free to, to add any of the dry seasoning that you'd like at this point, just because like a lot of that moisture will let them uh, absorb it. So I usually like to always add garlic salt, salt to my mushrooms. What do we see when we look at a forest? Can you see the trees? Can you see the moss? The ferns? What's underneath? What rises to meet you at every step you take?